What's up, y'all? This show girl, Drew with the T. If this your first time here on my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Okay, y'all, let's talk about y'all girl, Cardi B. Cardi B just uh, finally released her new hit single. And unfortunately, she made some comments in her new hit single that people felt like was shade. She went on in her new hit single to talk about Coach Bag. And people felt like allegedly she was downing people who still wear coach bags. And she got a lot of backlash from supporters. And she decided to go clear it up on social media and say she not throwing shade to people that wear coach. And she go out and buy a coach bag to just show that she still can be down to earth and she not coming for people. But see, this is again um, a prime example of what I was just talking about. In one of my previous um, episodes, and I was talking about how the internet is a blessing and a curse when you got a lot of these big time celebrities who use their platform to be in competition with their, um, the sad piece. They, it's like a lot of them, they get big, they blow up, they forget where they come from, a lot of them become unhumble, and they be in competition with their supporters. Like, how is you stunning on your supporters? They make people feel bad about not having the same things they got. Now, you know, she go on and clean, clean it up. But at the same time, I feel like that's why you got to be mindful of what you send on your platform, especially when you got a huge follower. You don't know how that can impact people. You got regular nine to five people who support these high celebrity, high um, end celebrities, buying out their shows, supporting them, buying merchandise, keeping them relevant on social media, Regular average people who really admire some of these celebrities for what? I don't know why. Well, a lot of them is nothing but toxic and got their own problems, but yet it's still they support who they support. Then they turn around and go against their fans. You know, and Cardi B have not had um a lot of good things going on lately. As y'all know, she lashed out on the internet what about a month or two ago when she caught um all said supposed to be cheating or they was going through a hard time in their relationship, allegedly. I don't really know the whole full story, but we know she lashed out on him, and they was supposed to be going through a breakup. So it's like this girl got her own personal things going on. So it's like on top of that, you shouldn't use your platform to make other people feel bad and to boost yourself because you got money and they don't. You got a certain type of budget and they don't. And a lot of fans wasn't happening. A lot of people was making comments saying coach is still in, it's still relevant, you know, and everybody not big on designer. Some people just like basic cute stuff. Like they don't really care what's the name on it. But that's why I say, and maybe she generally did not mean no harm. This is allegedly according to her, she did not. But you just got to be careful what you say. Like it's a lot of big time celebrities. I had to stop supporting myself because a lot of them just stunt with their money, their houses. There's nothing wrong with being proud. But to say somebody not worthy or they less than because they make less than you or they not a millionaire. And then once they flash the money and stun on people, it's like, why am I keep going to your concert? I'm an average person. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm about to go broke supporting somebody who's going to turn up on me on the net and make me feel less than for not having what they have. But yet and still, we taking our hard-earned work money, the same type of jobs they look down on to go support these concerts. Without no concerts, and now people buying their music on these platforms and sharing their wheels and sharing their new music. They won't have a platform. They won't make no money. So they really depend on their supporters. You got to be really careful how you teach. I mean, how you treat your supporters and watch what you say. Like some of y'all be getting a big head. and Y'all forget where y'all came from. And y'all be forgetting. That's how y'all get y'all a bag. Without no supporters in the platform, you don't make no money. So again, um, for those who actually saw this incident that took place on social media, y'all could drop y'all comments. What y'all think about the comment? Then she made it her new hit single. I don't really follow Cardi. I'm not a big fan, um, but I did just notice it coming down my timeline. I thought it would be something interesting to talk about because I just was sharing about this. Um, I was just having a conversation about this this week on my um, channel about how these celebrities, you know, make people feel bad for having less than. So I thought this would be a good time to talk on this topic again. But y'all could drop y'all comments. Do y'all accept her apology if y'all her fan? Was y'all offended by the comment or it had no impact on you? Or what did y'all think about the comment she made? And this your girl, Drew with the T, man. I'm about to get up out of here. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. We're going to grow together.